Welcome back, and welcome to a Woody Show first. <laughs> this is a uh, maiden voyage. The maiden voyage of uh, something that Morgan came up with. Excited. And as soon as I heard it, I knew, well. <laughs> That's us. She gets yep. us. <laughs> yep, we're doing it. <laughs> she she really gets That's us. That's us. Uh, 69ing the news. <laughs> Let's 69 the news. Here we go. It all comes together on 69 News. Yeah, that, and you're right, nice. Greg. That is clever. That is so clever. <laughs> Get it, it. All, it all comes together. <laughs> that is genius. All right. South Korea's government got a lot of backlash over a proposed plan to raise the maximum weekly working time. They had proposed a 69-hour work week. Yeah. Whoa, that's wow. Hot. That's right. That's so hot. Yeah. Nice. After uh, business groups complained that the current 52-hour work week was making it difficult to meet deadlines. Jesus Christ. But wow. the people of South Korea are protesting because they say a 69-hour work week Jeez. would destroy Jeez. their work-life balance. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, South Korea's got uh, even, I think, worse problem than Japan does with their birth rate. In fact, it's 0.84 births per woman, and it needs to be above two to sustain a culture. So, oh, uh, wow. You'll be, 69 huh. might be going to 169 soon. Damn. Damn. Every day, 69 News is covering what's happening right now. So we've heard about this. Companies like BMW and Volvo, just to name a few, have uh, started adding subscriptions in hopes of creating new sources of revenue. So, like, you would get right. a car that would have heated seats available okay. but only but if you wanted to be able to use your heated seats you'd have to pay a monthly subscription the <laughs> stupidest isn't that dumb you the, already bought the car the functions right there the hardware is there yeah so stupid a recent survey found that most people aren't into it in fact 69 percent of car buyers <laughs> hell uh, yeah dog said they yeah. prefer the old-fashioned <laughs> model of paying for an option like heated seats once and then just you know keeping it forever of course uh-huh. who's the 30 percent that, that don't pain? hate it yeah how's this not a hundred yeah one yeah. percent hate and then 20 29 percent <laughs> yeah. uh aren't just sure. can't decide i don't know Idiot. i can't decide guys. could you call me next week yeah <laughs> 69 <laughs> wow nice yeah uh, i just i don't understand how that even made it out of like the idea room. I know. You bought the car. Yeah. And when you buy a car, you select options. The heating coils are in the seat. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you like, yeah, what? Okay. So you sell a car. Let's say you're the manufacturer. You sell the car. It's already got the, Mm -hmm. the mechanics for heated seats. Mm -hmm. And the person doesn't take you on the subscription on the heated seats. Mm -hmm. You've just spent the money making this. Well, actually, you know what? They're still making their money. It's like when, uh, they go, oh, well, uh, all the maintenance. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, you paid for it. It's just not as you go along. Mm. Yeah. You know, they, right. they're not losing money, I guess, by putting the uh, the the hardware or whatever into the car, right. even if you don't subscribe to it. That's just their way to make extra revenue on top of right. all that. Correct. And the revenue stream is the car. Yeah. All right, let's uh, 69 the news. 69 news is there. And police in Japan. They arrested this guy who called his local police station. Guess how many times? Um, I'm going to say 69? No, way more than that. Really? Over 3,900 times. Oh. Okay. According to the report, 69-year-old ah. <laughs> Shigeki Tashima. He got us. He was the one who made all those calls, but <laughs> none of them were emergencies or requests oh. for help of any kind. He oh, would just no. call at all times of the day would talk incoherently for as long as 20 minutes at a clip. Oh, wow. And uh, 69-year-old Shigeki Tashima. Oh, Shigeki. Tashima, sorry, was uh, arrested on suspicion of fraudulent obstruction. Oh, he just wants to say hi. Yeah. Yeah. Shigeki. 69. Let us 69. (laughs) Yes, let us. Let us. (laughs) <laughs> yes, let us let us let yeah. us sixty nine. Yeah, that, that could be a service. Like you're, let's say you're Greg, and you just, you got nothing to do when you get home except stare at the wall. Yeah, oh, totally. Uh-huh. Maybe you could be like, just take calls from old people, like who just want to chat. Uh, here's a, a friend. text. This segment is leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get it. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> noise. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like noise. Noise. Yeah. Bro. yeah. 
It is like noise. We're 69ing the news. It all comes together on 69 News. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a TikTok cooking duo earned their third Guinness World Record by wow. visiting the most fast food restaurants in a 24-hour period. Menace, oh. this has you written all well, over Well, Seabass and I, we, we did like 17. Four, uh, I think it was 14 Taco Bells in the span of three or four hours. Yeah. yeah. Now, this so is a world record. It. Guess okay, how many restaurants it? they went to. How many? 69. Yeah. 69. That's right, man. 69. Seabass, can we break 69. That? 60, yeah, hold on. 24 divided by 60, or 69 divided by 24, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, they chose Manhattan because they could visit all 69 spots with a single eight-mile walk. Oh, wow. They started at 8.30 in the morning at the McDonald's in Times Square, which I'm sure Menace has been to a billion times. Yeah, that's a good one, right? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. yeah that's a nice one. Hey, guys, if you're ever in New York, <laughs> yeah. they got, you got, they got go. an upscale McDonald's yeah, right McDonald's. there in Times Square. Oh, they have, like, nice. an upstairs. Yeah. yeah, like, you order on the first floor, yeah. and then you go to the second what? floor, and they got, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got tables up there. I'm trying you, to think of all the fast food spots you got there. You got McDonald's. Get a you got yeah. Jollibee. The Raisin Kings isn't open yet. All week. Anyway, uh, so they started at 8.30 at the McDonald's in Times Square. They had at least one food or drink item at each location they went to. Jeez. Oh, my God. They had 24 hours to do it, but they ended up visiting how many? 69. All 69 restaurants. Whoa. Damn. And only seven hours and 15 minutes. Oh, well, that's definitely beatable then. Yeah, we can crush that. Go for it, guys. Well, they I, were probably doing yeah. a lot of beverages. I bet. Oh, yeah. Let's just do one bite. bite. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bite and toss. A bite. Give it to the pigeons. Mm-hmm. All right, let's 69 the news. Every day, 69 News is covering what's <laughs> happening right now. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I would watch that every day. I can't make heads or tails of this news. Oh, it's going to happen in nine for nine. nine. Who can't, start, you can't tell where it starts or ends, you know? <laughs> Another one says, uh, did this segment eat pineapple? Because I'm loving this 69 yeah. news. Yeah. Yeah. Kidding. Uh, Ravi, a woman in Colorado is thanking her lucky stars that she got called for jury duty because yeah. it saved her life. Really? 69-year-old Shirley Bennett. <laughs> oh, Shirley. Hell yeah, that's sexy. <laughs> she was at the court. She was at the courthouse when uh, she had a stroke and collapsed. I'm not oh, laughing wow. at the stroke. Oh, wow. Hilarious. <laughs> she nearly died on the corner. Well, wow. guys, the courthouse her. is so funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no pulse when the deputies uh, arrived, so they quickly did some CPR. They got her back. She even uh, went back to the courthouse last week to thank them in person because her doctor told her that she definitely would not have survived had she been oh, at home right. instead of the courthouse. Right. Right. Yeah. Home alone like Ravy's going to be when she happens When I have my stroke, mm-hmm. yeah. and you'll find me <laughs> days later. Any day now. It'll be, rest in peace, 69-year-old Shirley, Shirley Bennett. Shirley Bennett. That, Shirley. that was a character on Community. Yeah. Let you and me do some 69. Thanks, Julia Child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Here, one more uh, round of news. 69ing the news. 69 News is there. 69 News. On the scene for this story, it's a study published in the Journal of Clinical Cardiology. That's a fun read. People <laughs> who suffer from insomnia have an increased chance of a heart attack compared oh, to those without sleep disorders. Great. Great. The experts found... That's 69% of us who get five hours of sleep or less per night have the greatest risk. Oh, great. But it's even worse for people with both insomnia and diabetes. Diabetes. I have to take a look at my will. (laughs) Uh, They are twice as likely to have a heart attack than people without those conditions. Great, great, great. great. Get a lawyer and a will. Great, great. So. There are 69% of us who get five hours of sleep or less to have a, a greater risk. That's hot. Of, I'm so screwed. You know, heart attack. Six. It's been, hey. it's been fun, Greg. It's been a 69. It's been a pretty good life. That's I how guess. you 69 the news. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Loving it. Uh, yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff.